Smiles by Francis Fuller Victor. If you can hear fail than the laugh rang out, then the merry peal and the echo shout, and the jest for round with the hearty glee, and the bright eye laughed right merrily. Have ye ne'er failed that the shaft of pain was meant to be cloffed and that may strain? And did not the thought, like a magic spell, choke up your voice with your spirit swell? Your tongue drew hoarse while you laughed on still, while it fell on your heart with a painful thrill, and you trembled and shrunk like a guilty thing, lest the tears should escape the hidden spring? And a word, a single careless word, fell from the lips of many heart, but you of the hearers alone knew well what the careless word was meant to tell. So you jested on with a hearty glee, for your heart sank out and joylessly. And there was an eye you feared to meet, lest its glance should sink to the deep retreat of her burning thoughts and scalding tears, that sear the heart with grief of years, and awaken the fountain that must o'erflow, lest it burst the heart with its strength of woe. Far down in the spirit's deep, deep well, there was hidden a grief that none might tell. The eye laughed on, the lip was bright, and none might dream of hopeless night, whose shadows so heavy and cheerless all had ripped your heart in its gloomy pole. Trust not smiles, for their light may hide, a heart where each gushing hope hath died, and guide your lips, lest the careless jest should set in a heart that half long suppressed its herring fierce with a careless air, and bound with a smile of the brow of despair.